हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल गर्ल विद द स्कैल्पर्स दिस इज डॉक्टर मेहक आई एम अ ट्रेंड ओल्ड एंड मैंग फेशियल सर्जन एंड आई एम हेयर टू हेल्प यू आउट टू फुलफिल योर ड्रीम्स टू प्रैक्टिस एज एन इंटरनेशनल डेंटिस्ट इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका सो टुडे इज़ अ वेरी स्पेशल वीडियो अबाउट हाउ यू कैन प्रैक्टिस एज एन इंटरनेशनल डेंटिस्ट इन मैसेच्यूसेट्स नाउ इट इज पॉसिबल नाउ यू कैन अप्लाई एज अ लिमिटेड डेंटल इंटर्न लाइसेंस और अ लिमिटेड डेंटल फैकल्टी लाइसेंस सो let's dive in into today's video to know how you can apply what are the pros and exactly what are the cons so are you an international dentist who has done uh, bds or are you an international dental specialist who has pursued mds and now wants to practice as a faculty in massachusetts now it's possible by the limited limited dental intern license or limited dental faculty license so let's know what are the prerequisites So what all do you need is a proof of graduation that is it includes an original transcript with the school seal indicating your date of graduation or the degree awarded and for foreign international dentists an original transcript of your foreign dental degree showing your date of the graduation and the degree also if it is in your native language it has to be translated and notarized and then it has to be attached and sent to the board now at the end i would be sharing the application form how you have to fill that form and where do you have to send it then coming on to the second prerequisite is a physician statement now the examination and the signed statement of your primary care physician or the physician's assistant or nurse practitioner that has medically cleared you has to be presented and the exam must be taken within the 12 months of application Now this is another prerequisite which has to be attached along with your transcripts which are you going to mail them. Then are the documentation or the certifications. Now you have to send either of these two prerequisites. Now these include the current certification with the American Red Cross cardiopulmonary resuscitation or the automated external defibrillation for the professional rescuer or the CPR AED or the current certification from the American Heart Association AHAs basic life support or the B- BLS support for the healthcare provider certification you can get any of these if you have not done as yet and then you have to attach this along with your other documents then another very important prerequisite is the Massachusetts dental ethics and uh jeopardence examination now mostly these ethics examination occur in each of the provinces you have to clear these exams and then you have to attach the results now here what you have to do is i will provide the link in the description box you just have to reach that link you have to apply and request a copy of your exam results it's mostly an open book exam you have to search for your the, the answers to the questions you can attempt that and then you can ask for just the results of your answers and then you can attach it with your profile now after filling the the form that is the application form which i will be attaching in the description box if at all it is applicable with your profile you have to send certain more documentations now these include a criminal offender record information also known as the CORI acknowledgement form which is attached along with your application form you just have to fill it now for this you will need this if you have answered yes to any of the questions in the good moral character question section which will be there in the application form then you have to attach it now this criminal offender record information must be signed in person or witnessed by either a bhpl employee at the board's office or it has to be notarized then letter of standing is required if at all it's applicable to your profile now this is an official verification of the professional uh, sorry professional licensure from each state or jurisdictions in which you hold or ever held any license now this official letter must include the current status of your application for your license the license number official seal signature of the licensing board then coming on to the practice history now if you have ever practiced in any jurisdiction or state other than this then you have to update it along with your resume and or your practice history then a national practitioner data self query checklist now attach this if you have ever held any professional 
other than dentistry if you ever held any professional healthcare license that also has to be attached now how to attach it and how to request the self query form this will be given in the description box you just have to go on to that link and you can access that form then you have to attach the IELTS language prophecy if your dental degree is not in english or other than english then you have to provide the minimum passing score of TOEFLs or the IELTS exam then there is a good moral standing certificate you have to attach a separate sheet explaining the circumstances now this good moral certificate is applicable to those who in any way had any police reports any court records or any disciplinary actions that were against them you have to just attach the details if you have ever had any of these charges then coming on to some other requirements now this would include a photo of yourself with the prerequisites given then an affidavit that you must sign the affidavit on the application and have it witnessed by the notary public or has to be notarized then employment please make a note <clears throat> to make sure the employment as a dental intern or full time faculty before applying to any of the limited dental license then coming on to the fee structure now into this fee structure this would include basically just the name that is the dental license fee then it is mostly 90 dollars now they generally accept the personal checks business checks or money orders and have to be payable at the commonwealth of the massachusetts i will be giving the link to the website where you have you can find all the details of the addresses and the mail address where you have to send these documents now coming on to the initial first and in dental intern license application now has a catch now the catch is you can fill up this form which will have certain details about you then the point of concern here is the practice location now as you can see the practice location now there is the a catch which i was talking about was that first you need to find an employer or you have to find a person or a supervisor or the supervising dentist only then you can apply for this limited dental intern license because in this form you have to provide the address of your supervising dentist who allows you to practice in massachusetts they will supervise your work and then you will be able to practice as an intern under them another con for this limited dental license is that it has to be renewed every year it is applicable only for five years so for five years you can only practice in massachusetts as an international dentist with an international degree if this is the case if you have not studied anything in the united states you have not done residency you have not not done dds then you can practice as an international intern dentist under a supervising dentist but that will be only for five years and you have to renew this for every single year but here the pro in this situation is after five years you might become eligible and in mostly cases you will you will become eligible to get an unrestricted license by just sitting for a board exam now there are various board exams which are current united states most of the people who are aspiring to come into us know them so you have to apply to the board to sit for nerv exam you can give that exam and then you can attain your unrestricted dental license to practice at, in massachusetts as a dentist so if you have this five years of glitch after five years you can apply for this unrestricted dental license the same goes for the faculty license if you have done your mds your masters and you have been into practicing in the dental schools in india here or in southeast asia you can take up that experience you can apply as a faculty as a lecturer as an assistant professor associate professor or going up into the hierarchy you can apply for your faculty license and then after some time you can apply for an unrestricted license as a dental specialist in this situation and in this scenario if at all you manage to crack dds or get into any of the residencies then voila you have it your own way 
you will have the experience of practicing under a dentist in united states which will like boost your cv and post your education or post even 5 years you can practice independently so if there is a minor con in the situation that is finding an employment there is a pro that you can at the end you can get an unrestricted license so this route might be suitable for those people who have moved into us or in massachusetts or are moving to this place or are getting married and settling there you guys can always check out this route as well along with trying for dds or dental residencies so in the end i would say where there's a will there's a way i'm here to help you out to get to know more about uh, the dental fraternity and how you can apply for a dental license and easier and i would say uh, some minor ways by which you can enter into the system so this is the first video to the series which i will be uploading as to how you can practice in each of the states in united states all the prerequisites so that you can plan accordingly so this brings me to today's video and i would like to end by saying do like my video subscribe and share and also click on the bell icon so you get an update whenever i upload a video so stay tuned with me bye bye